Well, good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's actually one o'clock in the morning. But I thought I'd try something a little different. As technically it is Thursday, the 14th of April, I thought I'd start the vlog before I go to bed. <laughs> Just something different, that's all. I think it's boring when you do the same thing over and over and over, so... Right. I was actually going to have a few games of solitaire before I boogered the off to bed. Been and got my cash out the cash machine, which uh, the one on the post office yeah. doesn't work. It acts like it's going to work, but uh, I could hear it was making a weird noise. It actually, I'm not sure if it was a fan or something. It's never made that noise before. And then it made some really dodgy noises when it was um, trying to count money. So I don't know if something's gone wrong with it or it may have run out of cash, but it returned my card and cancelled the transaction as they do. So I had to go walkies round town to another cash machine. I don't always. I don't always go and get my money out before I go to bed. Um, on payday, that is. It's just, I uh, haven't done it for a while, so I just decided to uh, go for a little wander. Yeah, I've done Sir's cat tray, and that is all nice and tidy up the corner. And I often have this uh, lamp on at night. And uh, it just sits on for hours like that, and uh, to be honest, it's a 3 watt LED and it hasn't even made a dent on my electric consumption to be honest when I leave that on. I don't leave it on every night but when I do it doesn't really seem to make any difference whatsoever. So uh, I like leaving that one on. It's sort of a... it's not too bright on the eyes. That should be a good night light because it's not too bright on the eyes. I don't know if anyone else gets it, but uh, when you first wake up, it's sort of a, a bright light tends to hurt your eyes. Yeah, and I don't bother making the bed. I don't see the point. I'm the only one that sleeps in it. I'm the only one in the flat, so who am I making the bed for apart from myself? It'd be different if I had a girlfriend, you know, then I would make the bed, or she would, you know, that what you have a girlfriend for. Boom. Kidding. Ow. That was karma because I just tripped over the bicycle. <laughs> karma acts quick in this flat. Yeah, but I really don't see the point in making a bed when I'm the only one that sleeps in it. I'm the only one that's ever in this flat. Well, 99% of the time I'm the only one ever in this flat. I can't remember the last time I had someone up here, actually. I don't really get visitors. Oh, knock it off with the camera panning is too fast, you stupid thing. Right. Can't wait to get this going. Look at this. Look at the gear indicator on these shifters, look. It's actually here. It goes around the handlebar. That's um that's a unique type of gear shifter. I've this is the first bike I've come across that's uh got that. I think I'll try and clean it up a little bit, you know. I might if I've got some I'll change the bolts. If not, I'll stick a bit of black paint on it. I was tempted to stick a bit of black paint on the spokes because uh They've got a nice rusty colour, at least on that back wheel. Yeah, mud guards uh, need sorting out as well. It's just the stays. The stays that need adjusting. Oh, the front one doesn't want it to adjust. It's on there tighter than the back. I might have to. Uh, Tighten the rear clamps up. I've never seen mud guards that bolt on like this either. 
Right, got two bottle holders, that's good. Well, two places to put bottle holders or a pump. I could put a little mini pump on there if I wanted to. Uh, da, 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 da. My little metal one, that's got a um, pressed valve attachment on it as well, so is there pressed valves on this one? Uh, I should be able to get this running at least Saturday. I mean, uh, I could go out tomorrow and get the brake cables for it, and a gear cable. Two gear cables, actually. Uh, and get at least the front gears working and the brakes working, that'll be less, one, two, three, less jobs to do. All we've got to do is bolt the dryer on, fix the chain on, which is all in a box out by the front door on the shelf. He's got a thing about doing that with cardboard boxes. Don't know why he does it, it's just cardboard boxes. And my finger. If I point my finger at him, he'll do that to my finger. <laughs> yeah, so that's something I can do. Because uh, I can't do the rear gears till I've got my part. Which I hope works. Oh. I don't need to do anything with the front brake cable, that is operating fine. So I need one brake cable. Because I know the rear one was sticking and two gear cables. I'll just replace both, it'll be easier. And I've got to remember how to do it. <laughs> Think. In there. Where you got to push the cable through. I thought there was a cap or something in there, but I think there is. I can't see it in this poor light. Anyway, what I'm going to do to put a spin on this, <laughs> something different, I'm going to turn the camera off, play some solitaire, and then piss off to bed. I think I'll go till about 1.30, then I'll go to bed. Well, I'll probably end up watching some American Dad first. It's too late for Family Guy. Ooh, it's been on in play. So, I shall see you when it's daylight. Good night. Okay, it's daylight now. And I've uh, been into town already. It's nearly 11.30. I think I've been in town over an hour. Didn't want to be that long, but anyway, on the floor I have a bag of goodies. Some biscuits for later. Not all of them. I'm not pig. Not that much of a pig, anyway. Um, then I went to the Katali charity shop and bought, I think it was four cables. I've got another sort of Xbox cable. I think it's for the Xbox 360, not the, uh, um, for the first Xbox, not the Xbox 360. I don't know. I might, I don't know though. Not thinking about it, no. Well, no, it's the same plug, so it should work. Audio and microphone extension cable. These are all 50p, by the way. Uh, a power adapter, just because it's 5 volt. And actually, I've just realised I should have got another cable. I might go back there in a little while and get it, actually. There's one more I've got. Oh, yeah. This one, because I hope it's going to fit a phone I have. I hope. <laughs> if not, well, I've got an odd cable for 50p, so. Uh, and then I went to Black Records, because yesterday, I noticed he's had a couple of um, Xbox 360 controllers in. Um, I've got them both for 25 quid, so here's the first one, just a standard white one, the screws have broken on that side, but that doesn't matter, a bit of tape around that will fix that, it's come with the cable as well, and an actual black one, for 
for 15 quid. And it's got batteries in, so I know it works. I just haven't got a game. <laughs> I've got a tripod. Doesn't fit a camera, but I'm hoping I can modify this so I can put my camera on it. PIR sensor, just because I could. <laughs> no other reason apart from because I could, and this actually looks brand new. The grommet there hasn't been um, pierced, so I don't think this has ever been used. No, it hasn't. None of the cable knockouts on the back. Well, I didn't even notice that. Uh, what else? Now that's what I call Music 47, which has got both discs in. I like these collections. I'm trying to collect them up again. And last but not least, a PS1 controller with analog sticks. That's the only reason I got this one. Actually, because of the colour, I think this might come with the um, mini version of the PS1. But uh, I'll do. I'll go and put this in the bedroom. Uh, I've only got one analog con or one controller with the analog sticks for the PS1. I think I've got two ordinary ones. Yeah, I have because I've got a spare one up on the shelf and one plugged in. Well, that's something to test at some point to see if the controller works. <laughs> and the only other thing I've got in my bag of goodies is breakfast. <laughs> That's it. Nothing else to show, I'm afraid. Uh, so I'm going to go and put these. If you're wondering why I bought both Xbox controllers, I'm only likely going to ever need one because I'm the only one that'll likely ever play it. But I've got a spare, plus it's got the USB cable, so um, I could use it on the PCs. I'll just put a bit of tape around there just to hold that together. Because I think the um, actual plastic posts have broken. Because the screw is still in there. Someone probably lost their temper with a game. <laughs> yeah, so that white one will be used on the PCs, and I'll use the black one. Probably with rechargeable batteries. There's Duracell in here at the moment, but I'll use my rechargeable batteries, I think. So all I've got to do is connect the antenna up, because I think it's plugged in. Actually, I think the, an the uh, antenna, that's, that's old. <laughs> connect the signal cable up. Actually, I believe it is already connected. So all I've got to do is turn it on and sync the controller, I think. And get a game, and that should be good to go, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bugger off, because I'm hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet, I haven't actually even been on the PC yet, I just turned it on. And it was doing its update thing. So I turned it on and decided to go into town while it was um, installing updates. What the hell have I done with that? I've got a plate missing. <laughs> I mean, what a little plate, I want a big one. What have I done with that? See it under there. Oh, let's use this one. I'll just wipe the ketchup off from underneath. Right. So I'll talk to you all later. I should be seeing. No, actually, I am seeing Mum this afternoon. I've got to go across to Lidl's at about ten past one. Uh, then I'm not sure what I'll do after that, I think. Actually, I think after that I might just run back to that Katali shop and get another power adapter. I don't need the adapter. I just want the cable. <laughs> it's um, one of these, um, what I call kettle leads. It's just something I've called them for years. As I've said before, because they used to be used on kettles years ago, but just one of those is with it. So, for 50p, and I am always needing those cables, so... 
you know. Might as well go and get it if it hasn't sold by then, of course. It might have sold between now and when I go in, but if it has, it has. I'm not worried. Right. So uh, I'm going to disappear. Get a bite to eat. Chill out at the PC, watch some YouTube videos. Uh, might play a bit of solitaire if I'm up to it. I might leave that to later, I don't know. And uh, go across to Little and meet Mum. I'll get a few bits in Little while I'm there. Do I need any cola? Yeah, I do. I've got a fresh bottle in here. The obligatory cola. Must have my cola. <laughs> right, I'll talk to you all later on today. Okay, so uh, while I was out at Lidl, I stopped off in Roy's. Got myself another one of these. I need a few more of those yet. I might have a look on eBay and see if I can get some used ones rather than keep buying brand new. I've um, also got a set of these out of Roy's. Torque and security key set because I've got the little uh, hole in the end for the little stud that is on some of the star keys or torque screws I should say because uh, uh, I've noticed that white controller needs a set of these I just hope there's one in that pack that will fit <laughs> um, yes yeah, so I've got those out of Roy's so then I went across to Sainsbury's and yes I've got two of those but there's a reason for that one they were um, on offer, two for £15, so I'm actually saving a pound. Ooh. Doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, you know that one pound does soon add up. And uh, this was on offer at £5 off, so I grabbed that as well. I've been wanting this one for a while. Um, mostly just for that container, believe it or not. And the bike. I'm not fussed about the helicopter. Um, I like helicopters, but I'm not that big on them. Anyway, so guess what my afternoon is going to entail now. <laughs> yeah, the reason I actually got two of these, the other reason is these are a two-in-one set. You get a um, choice of two models, and I've got a feeling I'll have to go on their website to get the instructions for the second one. So I thought, as they're on offer, get both and I can build the main set with one of them and the second model with the other set and I could have you know both on display somewhere uh, I don't know where yet actually I don't know what I can do if I move all those VHS tapes to that bottom shelf I could move that shelf up here uh, then I could use that as perhaps the Technic shelf for the time being until I find a home for a few more things like those amplifiers up the top there I don't tilt too far back on this chair I might go arse over tit <laughs> <laughs> this chair is getting rather precarious. Anyway, so I suppose I better get my finger into gear, or my ass into gear, is the correct phrase. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I've had someone interested in one of my bikes, but they asked if it was an adult one, and uh, although that jump bike. You could get an adult on it. I mean, I can ride it comfortably enough, but I'm only five foot four with short legs, so depends. I mean, I wouldn't give it to someone who was like six foot tall, put it that way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bloody chair. Right, well, I'm going to disappear and get a few more things done, so uh, I'll talk to you, uh, well, when I'm done, I suppose. Did I just hear thunder? Did I? Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to just go across to um, the Katali shop again, didn't I? 
All right, then I'll go and do that. Then I'll come back and I can start some Lego videos as well. I just got to remember I've got to sort the footage out when I put it on the PC. Yeah, all right, then. So I'll do Katali. Come back. Make a start on the uh, Lego videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll take it from there, so be back later. Okay, this will probably be the last part for the vlog today. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I built both Technic kits up. I was actually wrong. The instructions for both models were in the box. But obviously with a lot of these 2-in-1 or 3-in-1 sets, for those that don't know, You've, there's only enough bricks to build one model at a time, which is why I bought both. As they were on offer, I bought two. So I could build one of each models. Well, I've just done the review on this one, and the review on... Where is it? The fire helicopter over there. Really? That was panning too fast? What planet are you on, camera? I've moved that shelf, as I said I would. It's now up here, because I figured I could um, have a bit more room down the bottom there to stack things on. One day those VHS tapes will go, because I'll put everything that's there onto PC. I've got the means to do it in the bedroom, so I don't actually know why I don't bother. You know, all I've got to do is rewind the tape, pop it in at the bloody... or pop it in at the VCR and make sure it's rewound and just hit play and hit capture on the PC and hey presto but uh, I've got my um, Technic shelf saw today so put these up there I want a few more Technic models and uh, I'm probably going to use that top shelf as Technic as well I'll move those amplifiers down to there I'll just move that stuff off of there this is Oh, my ears just went funny. This is probably probably the oldest Technic kit I have. I can't remember the year, but I think it was 1980s. And I actually bought this, <laughs> believe it or not, from a classic car show. Um, there's a local classic car shoe, show, not shoe, but <laughs> that... Um, also has a car boot on that day so I was just looking around the car boot most of it was you know parts for classic cars and whatnot but there's the odd stall there selling other bits and bobs and that was there and I paid £10 for that set which I actually think was a bargain because I actually had more in there than the actual set a lot more Technic was in there than the parts that should have been with the set so it was sort of complete, plus a hell of a lot more. So, yeah, I have actually sorted that set out now, and uh, it is complete parts-wise. All the extra bits I've sorted ouch, I've sorted out. So yeah, I'm happy. I think I bought that two, three years ago now. Probably three years ago now. Oh. Went to go and pour myself a drink, but I got sidetracked and I haven't poured it yet. Oh, and I've cheated with the backhoe. <laughs> I opened up a paper clip and hooked it in there, so it's like a um, yeah, and it is actually holding the weight of the boom now, like a um, lock that you can get on a lot of real backhoes that you can lock the arm up with to stop it dropping when you're going down the road. Um, do believe if you watch Bill's T Max, the um, John Deere 110 TLB that he uses for work has a lock up here that holds the arm up, and obviously before you start digging, he's got to take the lock off. Oh yeah, and I did go back to try and get that other power supply with the kettle lead, but they'd actually um, oh pardon me, done away with the tub, so. I was a bit too slow, never mind. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Uh, da, 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 
and uh, I've got the keys for that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this in a separate video because I've got to take it apart to try and get that to close properly. So I'm going to put that there. Hopefully one of these will fit. I've been wanting a set of these for ages, actually. <laughs> and uh, the $2.99 a set, and the smallest is a T10, and the largest is a T50. I've seen some various household appliances use those. Um, clothes irons seem to like to use those as well. Oh, and the other thing I did, I've posted those um, chickens off, those Lego chickens, they've been posted. <clears throat> Tell you what, I haven't got much to do at the minute. We'll um, have a look in this controller, shall we? I plugged it in and the green light on the cable lit up, but nothing else happened. But I plugged the black one into the PC using the same cable and I get the... Um, do -do 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 tones on the PC, but I didn't get it with this one, so I don't know if there's a problem with this one, but provided I can get into it. These blister packs are so annoying, but I think the only reason companies use them is because they're cheap. If memory serves correct, that's why they use them, so Pro user. Okay. Yeah, these sort of double up as those um, security security screw ones. Because I've got the little. Uh, when I can get it right on camera, got the little hole in the end for the little dimple that's on some of these screws. And what have I got a feeling? Oh, it does fit. Yay! There's one. Oh, I know what I needed these for. If you could hear that in the background, it's just a couple of um, kiddlywinks coming past on BMXs. I know they're BMXs because I can hear the um, freewheel. Oh, that one sounds rather dry. Kids don't think about maintenance, do they? It might help if I'm actually on camera, wouldn't it? But, whoa. So one of them I haven't undone yet because there's no point, because it's actually broken the post, I think. Um, that may not have been tossed around in temper, it may have just been dropped on the floor. That's enough to do it on some of these controllers. Right. Ooh, contacts are a bit dirty in there, but that shouldn't be enough to affect it. Oh, it's a good job I took the battery pack out because there's a hidden one right in here. <laughs> I wonder why that was still being a pain to separate. So that screws out. That one's still stuck in there. That, yeah, that one's definitely broke. I can see it. Because um, this side won't close properly. That's why I'm taking the cover off. I want to get it all to close properly. I think something's got dislodged and jamming it up, and I don't want to force it shut. Right. Is this one fully undone? Sorry, I had to go off camera there so I could see it. Here we go. In theory, I should be able to uh, slide that up. Yeah, the motor's slid out of position. That ain't going to help it, is it? Now, what I want to do, I want to get 
that post off because it may um, close better if I can get that off. And get the motors out as well. And the loose screws, put all those together. So I don't know why companies like Xbox um, use those Torx security screws because you can get the tools for them out of, well I got this not even from a tool shop, this was just from a local department shop. <laughs> so, I need a pair of pliers or something on there, don't I? If I've got anything at hand, anything I can hold it with, it doesn't matter what it is. Might be able to do it with a pair of these wire cutters, actually. <laughs> Just so I can... Um... Oh, there's two on this corner snapped off. This bottom one here and the one next one up. Yeah, the wire cutters are holding it. Like I said, I only want something in there just to hold it. So I can remove these. Like that. And then in theory, don't worry, it's on the floor, but I'll run over the floor with the G-Tech layer. I've got one more to remove. I was going to do a separate video on this, but... Yeah. Might as well throw something useful on this video. Or interesting, I should say, not useful. Right. So... Ah, so that motor goes in there, that one go in there. Yeah. That goes there. That's all in place, so in theory I should be able to just slide that over the shoulder buttons. Push the battery contacts in and that's gone back together absolutely fine. Uh The only difference is when I tried the other controller, the other one had batteries in it, this one didn't, so... Ah, oh, crap, I've forgotten which one's got the side, it's got the broken posts. Is it this side or is it the other side? It's... Uh... It's this side, so I've got to remember the left side's the one with the broken screws. There's some muck on the controller there. But uh, nothing that I would say would uh, affect it from working. What I can do borrow the batteries out of the other controller. Oh, Jerusalem bought those back. They're alive. Uh, I don't know what I can just do. Oh. <laughs> a little bit. <sighs> right. I'm actually not going to touch anything. Changed my mind. I'm just gonna uh, get all this slotted together. I'll get the screws in. I know I can um, fit in. Aside from those two, and I'll probably wrap a bit of um, white PVC tape around it. I think I look better than black, don't you? I think these are a little bit easier to use than my screwdriver tip ones. But the screwdriver tip ones don't have um, 
the thingy hole in them. Security hole. Actually, it looks like I could have used them because it doesn't look like now I've seen the screws up close. And they've actually got the security stud on them, so. Oh well, like I said, I want a set like that for a while, so I've got a set now. I could use super glue, but if I've got to open this up again for whatever reason, I won't be able to open it, will I? Not without causing it damage. Oh, I have got a cheap Xbox game as well. So, one thing I'm going to do this evening is test the controller. Last screw going in. Left the tape on the computer desk. I was running out of PVC tape and I had a choice of... Well, I wanted to get a couple of rolls. So I had a choice of red, black or white. So I went for white for a change. Usually I get red and black, but I will get a roll of red eventually, but for now, I'll just wrap this part of the controller in this tape. And that should be enough just to just to hold that together like that. So it's at least comfortable to use. Okay, so I'll we'll put the batteries in here. Oh, it is marked. That's all right. One. Two. Three. doesn't appear that this controller actually works. That might be one to try and fix. Maybe I should have tried that before I put the tape on it, but never mind. Just make sure I've got batteries around the right way. Yep. No, there's nothing happening up there at all. Oh well. I know the batteries are good because they work in the other controller. Now I've got piston batteries stuck in there. Is it the battery holder? That doesn't appear to be the battery holder either. I can get new ones of these if I do this one break, which is actually a, a little bit on the broken side as well. pack is warped but not when I do that okay all right 
Yeah, if I stick this back in this nice, nice black one and hit the button, just to prove the batteries work, obviously it's not going to try and sync with a. with a console that's not even turned on. Right. You know what? I'm going to turn on the console. Let's see if it does need a new hard drive or not. I'm going to turn on the TV and I'm going to... I don't actually know if it did anything. <laughs> Um, that's what I wanted. I can't see no lights on on the Xbox. Let's look at my ugly mug for a minute. Can't remember if I unplugged it. Or even if I plugged it in. Plugged in, but I've got to find the cable for it because uh, I can't remember where I put it. I've got the proper cable. Uh, then I've got to find something I can plug it into because I've run out of plugs. I think I'm going to go and do that then, and uh, I'll be back. Uh, well, I've given up with the Xbox for now. It works, it just, I don't know if it's me not knowing what I'm doing with it, but it doesn't want to read the disc. Put the disc in, it says reading disc, and then just says open try, it does nothing. It doesn't say error reading disc or anything, it just says open try, so. But um, I couldn't get that controller to sync originally, but it seems to have um, synced after I plugged it in using the cable. Um, see, I know fuck all about Xboxes. <laughs> I don't know that much about PlayStation 3s, but I know even less about Xbox 360s, so... I don't know if it's something I'm doing, or... The disc is perfectly clean, I've already checked that. But, um, yeah, it doesn't appear that it needs a new hard drive either, because uh, I've added a profile, I've set up an Xbox Live account that I'll probably never use, but... No. Oh, pardon me. But, uh, you know, it's set up, it's there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. It doesn't appear to work. <laughs> I might just take it apart completely for the hell of it and just make sure there ain't no... Um, No damage or anything that's gotten inside, because you never know, do you? Give me something to do anyway. Uh, well, I suppose, technically I could cross Xbox 360 off my list now that I do have the controller for it. I can hear a lot of screaming kids out there at this time of night. Right. That. I am watching you, Mr. Mercedes. But he's just turning around. Oh no, he has parked up. Usually cars just come in here, do a circle, or turn around and go out again. I can see your oh got HP on. Right, I'm gonna call it a day then for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos and uh, I'll talk to you all again. 
tomorrow, I suppose. Bye.